now we move into the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer is something that we say so often that we really don't pay attention most of the time to what we're praying. We're saying it instead of praying it. So now we're going to take a look at the words of the Lord's Prayer to get a better grasp of what we really are supposed to be doing with this. When we say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, we're first of all remembering that God is our Father, our Creator, the Creator of everything. Once again, we're reminded of our unity, how we've gathered together as a community. He is our Father, not just my Father. He's our Father. And not just the Father of those that we are worshiping with, but of every human being on the planet. And we're acknowledging this with just those first two words of the prayer, our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We're acknowledging his divinity, his superiority over us, and we're acknowledging that we someday want to spend eternity with him in heaven. All of that in the first phrase of the prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Lord, we want your kingdom, not just in heaven, but on earth as well. Because we're saying your will be done. We're saying, Lord, we want, I want, but as a community we are asking, we want what you want to take place here on earth. We want you to be in charge of our lives. We want what you desire in heaven to be real here on earth as well. We want to spread the kingdom of God here on earth. And then we pray, give us this day our daily bread. Now we're not just asking for food, obviously. Uh, what is our daily bread? Well, first of all, there is a connection to the food of the Eucharistic banquet that we're in the middle of, the food of Christ, the body and blood of Christ. But everything that we need, everything that helps us to be God's children here on earth, everything that helps us to reach our full potential of who God created us to be, we're saying, give us not necessarily what I want, but what you want for me. Give us our daily bread. Be in our daily needs. Be our provider. Be our partner in this life on a daily basis. Not just when I'm in trouble. Not just when life is hard. Not just once in a while if I happen to think about God. But daily we enter into acknowledging that we need God in our lives. And then after asking God to help us, we enter into asking God to forgive us. We pray, forgive us our trespasses, forgive us our sins. As we forgive the trespasses, the sins of others. In other words, if we're really paying attention to what we're saying, we're praying, Lord, I want forgiveness to the same extent that I'm willing to forgive others. Do we really mean that? You know, if we have any problem forgiving anybody in our lives, we should keep our mouths zipped shut at this part of the prayer because we are committing ourselves, whether we're conscious of it or not, whether we're paying attention to these words or not, we are choosing to tell God that we want to be forgiven the same way we forgive others. This part of the prayer is a challenging part of the prayer. And we need to remember that. Then, after asking God to help us go deeper into forgiveness, we pray, and lead us not into temptation. Now, does God really tempt us? What are we really saying here? God is not a tempter. God gives us the Holy Spirit to help us live holier lives. Of course, he's not gonna lead us into temptation. So we need to look at what Jesus originally said in scripture. He tells us, 
that what we are praying here is, save us from the final trial. In other words, we're praying at this point that we will not be judged, that God will lead us in a life where we resist temptations so that we can enter into eternity without being judged unworthy of eternity, without that final trial, that final judgment day, keeping us away from God. That's what we're praying for at this point. We're praying for our eternal lives. The next part goes into the things that try to interfere with that movement towards heaven. We pray, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from all the forces of evil. Deliver us from the things that tempt us, the, the spirits that tempt us, the attitudes that tempt us, the old behaviors that tempt us the wounds in our lives that tempt us. We're saying, deliver us, Lord, from the things that keep us from being as holy as we can possibly be here on earth, preparing ourselves for the day we will join you in heaven. All of the Lord's Prayer contains everything that we need to have in a prayer relationship with God. It expresses it all. And we end it with, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. We end it with praising God. We've petitioned God. We've joined ourselves closer to God through this prayer by paying attention to what we're praying. And then we give him glory and praise.